Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 175. I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to head over to codekarate.com, learn about the ebook, check out all the various posts about Drupal, and learn how you can get your own Drush cheat sheet for free. Today we're going to be going over the Entity Reference View Widget Module. This is a really handy module and if you've watched other of my videos on the Entity Reference Module, there's a number of them, and how the Entity Reference Module can be used to build out really complex functionality on Drupal websites. So this is just another module that adds on top of that and it works uh, really well at allowing you to easily select related content or referenced content. So we're going to go ahead and come over to our test site here. It will show you that I have the module installed. So if you see the entity reference module is on and the entity reference view widget module is on. I also have two different content types we're going to look at. One is called conference room and one is called room items so essentially what we're going to want to be able to do is when we create a conference room content type we want to select the room items that are going to be available in that conference room so room items is a very simple content type with just a title and a body and we'll go ahead and look at conference room which is the same thing right now just a title and a body field we want to go ahead and add a reference field so we can select the various room items that are going to be in this conference room. And this can work, of course, with any type of related content. We select Entity Reference as the field type. And he the important part here is under the Widget section, select View. This becomes an option as soon as you have the Entity Reference View Widget module enabled. So we're going to click Save. we will leave the rest of this at the default here and click save now you need to select the view I already have one I was testing earlier however in most cases you might not have a view available here so we have to create one so in order to create one we're gonna go into views make sure you have the views module on of course and the views UI module so we're going to add a new view We'll call this Room Items Entity Reference, and we're going to show content of type Room Items. We do not need to create a page or a block here. So let's go ahead and say we want to continue and edit. So let's add a Entity Reference View widget to our view. And let's just click Save to see how that looks. So now we can refresh this page here and select the room items entity reference view. We will leave all of the rest at the defaults except we'll change the number of values to unlimited and click save. Now if we want to add a conference room we go to add content conference room and you'll see there's a title there's a body and then there's a room items section here. It says no items have been added but you can click add items and it launches this widget here. However you notice it doesn't really work. You click on it, it doesn't do what you would expect it to do. You can't really actually add the items. You can click that and it doesn't really work. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this work. So this all now that it's set up on the content type it's all on the view so we have to configure the view correctly so the first thing that I typically do is change this from show rendered entity to show fields I also change the unformatted list to a table it's just easier to look at so now we have our title field. Let's also add a few additional fields. 
The important field that you have to add is this entity reference view widget checkbox. So we're going to add that. And we will move it to the top. Now let's go ahead and save and see if it looks a little better. Should at least be usable at this point. So if we come into the room items section, click add items, you'll see now we can select the various items. There's looks like five items to select from. You click some of the items and click submit. Now if you close out, the items will show up as referenced. You can uncheck it. If you click add items, you can change these items using this view widget. You will notice that it, it kind of it works, but it doesn't work very well because if you click add items we have whiteboard and projector B selected it doesn't show you anywhere that these items are already selected so if we select projector A it just adds that item to the list so there's a number of things we can do to clean this up the first thing we are going to do is clean up the fields a little bit so we're going to remove the label here we will add a label to the title field just to clean up that view. We will also add the post date field and we'll add the updated date field. These are not necessary of course to get it to work just going to make it a little easier to read and provide us a little additional information. It will also show that you can add any fields you want to this view so let's save that. The next step is going to be come into our content type for conference room, go to manage fields and go to the room items entity reference field. There's a checkbox here to pass the selected entity IDs to the view. What this does is any items that you checked when you reopen that views widget is going to automatically be passed into the view and why that's important is because if you pass in the already checked items you can then remove those from the view so they can't be selected multiple times it's also nice to close the window after you submit the item so you don't have to click the little close box in the top corner so we're going to check those boxes now we will come back to our view and this is where the important piece happens where you actually can filter out the already selected items. So in the advanced section in your view, you want to add a contextual filter. Since this is uh, content, this is a node, you want to find the NID. If this were other types of content, such as users, you'd use the user ID. Whatever the ID field is, you want to add that contextual filter. In the more section, there's two checkboxes we need to check want to allow multiple values and we actually want to make sure this these items are excluded from the view once we have that we should be about good to go so we will save we will try to add a new conference room when we click add items you can see we have more information here we can select a couple of the items click submit and they automatically pull in here if you go to add items you'll notice that now there's only three because it's actually excluding any of the items that are listed here inside that view so now there will only be two if we do not want those anymore we simply check them and they'll be back on this list you can also use this to select or unselect all so as you can see it's very handy one more thing you can do which is useful if you are going and searching a large amount of items. You can add some things to your view to make it work even better. Uh, you can make the table sortable so you can click and sort things. We can also add a filter to the view that you can actually use to search. So if you want to search title, we will add a title filter and we want to expose this filter so it's an exposed filter and we will say for the operator it contains 
and we will click apply all displays. I'm going to change this Ajax to yes and then click save. Now let's see if this is actually going to work here. Let's go ahead and try to add some new content. So we'll just start with blank. Call this room one. We'll, we'll leave the body empty and we'll go to add items. So you'll see we have some items here. If we want to search for projector, you can see it limits down our items. We can select that. Click submit. You can also then come back in here and add some additional items. So as you can see, if you had a ton of items to search through or you had a ton of reference content you needed to sort through, being able to add sortable, uh, sortable uh, columns to your table and also expose filters makes that a lot easier to do. So that's all we're going to go over today. The Entity Reference View Widget Module is a really cool little module, so give it a try. Make sure to check out CodeKarate.com. Let us know if you want to see any videos in the near future. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.